Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about uh, acceptance of Turing machine using halt state. In our previous class, we clearly discussed an example how to construct an, a Turing machine for palindrome. The same example we will use here in order to understand this class. Please watch that class and come back here. The link for the playlist is uh, provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. Uh, so this is the Turing machine for accepting palindrome and we constructed this uh, Turing machine in our last class. Uh, so acceptance by halt state. What's that mean is uh, in our last class when we discussed when we are constructing this Turing machine we are using this Q10 state. Uh, whenever the string is going to accept uh, we are moving to the state Q10 and we are going to stop here. This state we call it as a halt state uh, because that's why we did not mention any transaction transition on the Q10 state. Whenever you reach to Q10 means we are going to halt the system. There is no transition written on this Q10. That's why it is acceptance using halt state. Let's try to understand how strings are getting accepted and rejected with, with two examples. We'll take one accepted example and we'll take one rejected example. Example 1001. This is the acceptance string because this is a palindrome string. How it will get accepted? Let's try to understand step by step. It starts from 1 here. It starts from Q0. On Q0, if you see 1, we'll convert it into Y and moving to Q4 state. Why we have written this Q4 state? Q4 state is moving towards the end of the string. So we are moving right and from here we have to move till blank. Whenever you see blank up to that we have to move right side. So Q4 state is going to if you find 0 keep it as 0 and move right. Keep 0 keep it as 0 and move right. 1 keep it as 1 and move right. Whenever you see blank we are moving to Q5 state and we are moving left. Means now we are at the last one. For first one matching last one should be taken. So now whenever you find on Q5 state if you see 1 we are converting it into Y and moving left. Moving left means we are on 0. Now we have to move to the second second input position second input position means uh, zero is there how we will stop uh, at second input position we will move back so on q3 state we are moving back from here we are moving back until you find x or y whenever you find y we are converting we are stopping there and we are moving right and again convert this zero into x so now for that uh, we are moving back to q naught see we see on q3 we are moving back zero keep it 0 left 0 keep it 0 left uh, y so move to q0 state and move right side now we are at position 0 second input position second input position what's the input there is is there 0 is there so we are at this position now we are at a state q0 q0 means if you find 0 convert it into x and move right side again till Again, the same process repeat. Uh, yes, we are moving up to Y and moving back and converting this 0 into X. Uh, after that, we go back uh, and we are converting this into X. Uh, 0 is converted into X. We are moving to Q3 state. Uh, Q3 state is going to check for X and we are moving to Q0. Uh, if on Q0, uh, again moving right, uh, if, if you check for Q uh, X, see. So we already converted this into x, x. So we are we don't have any input symbols now. So everything is converted into x. Now what's remain on Q naught? We are going to observe x. Whenever we find x, it is going to Q10 state and it is going to accept the given input string. This is how it is going to halt here using a halt state. Now let's try to understand one more example which how we are going to reject the given input string if the input string is not in the palindrome format 1 triple 0 this is not a palindrome so it starts from 1 so q0 if you see 1 we will convert it into y and moving to q4 state q4 state is moving to till the end whenever you see blank we are we are going back and we are so whenever you see blank we are moving to q5 state and moving left means we are at this position 0 on q5 we mentioned about transition 1 1 you convert it into y and move left but the input is 
0 here the input is 0 so it is going to reject this uh, here there is no transition uh, in our NFA and in our first finite automata we clearly discussed that uh, whenever there is no transition uh, no transi tra transition on this state uh, it is going to reject this Turing machine is going to stop uh, means it is going to reject the given input string that is how we will say it as accepted and not accepted if you end up in q10 it is going to accept otherwise you are going to stop the turing machine without having a particular transaction this is how we'll say accepted and rejected strings hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you